Hey there. If you've got clammy hands and you've turned to this video looking for a solution, you're in luck. There is really a way to treat sweaty hands long term. You know, I, I suffered from clammy hands for a long time, really up until about six years ago. And um, it was really socially debilitating. I mean, going on job interviews, I just really not look forward to it at all. I, I'd be so self-conscious and when I would have to shake the interviewer's hand, you know, I knew they would find out about my little secret, you know. Um, in college, just high-fiving my friends or whatever, you know, and seeing that look on their face when they discovered my slimy, gross palms, you know. Uh, it's just, it's very embarrassing. It can make you shy. It can really hold you back socially. And it just kind of minimizes your confidence. So there's no reason why you have to deal with clammy hands. There are things you can do for it. And I'm going to show you some really great treatments for clammy hands in this video. Um, first, let's just talk about the causes real quick. Some common causes include anxiety disorders. Um, if you're a woman or an older woman, menopause, hyperhidrosis, which is the actual medical term for excessive sweating, tuberculosis, artery diseases, diabetes, stroke, cardiovascular diseases, poor diet and lifestyle habits, lack of good hygiene, and sweating can also be a side effect of certain medications. Now don't panic if you suffer from any one of these categories. You know, there still is hope, there's still solutions and treatments you can apply. Um, one of the most basic natural remedies you should start with is just simply rubbing talcum powder or cornstarch all over your hands after you dry off from the shower. And this is a really simple way to have the sweat evaporate quickly um, if you have minimal palm sweating. You know, you have sweaty hands, but it's not chronic. This will work. Uh, one thing that will work really well if you have sort of... Uh, I would say uh, moderate hand sweating is soaking your hands in tea filled with tannic acid. Um, so what this is, basically you want to use sage tea. And sage tea contains tannin, which is actually a tannic acid. And um, it's an astringent, it's a natural astringent. So what you want to do is you want to put about four or five tea bags of sage tea in a bowl and pour in a, like some very hot water. And let the water cool after the tea is diluted into the water you want to soak your hands in the water for about 30 minutes and I know that sounds like a long time but you're only going to do this the, the first night, the first time um, after that, the second day or night you're going to soak your hands in the same solution for about 20 minutes and then the third day you're going to soak your hands in the solution for about 15 maybe 10 minutes and by the fourth day you're going to notice significant dryness in your hands they're going to feel softer and drier and you're going to soak your hands for maybe 10 minutes that day. And after then, you can kind of determine how often you want to soak your hands. I generally do it maybe once a week at the most at this point. Once your body, once your hands become acclimated to the treatment, you're going to find they stay dry a lot longer. Um, so it's really great. It's a natural antiperspirant and uh, it works well. Um, you can also drink sage tea. Sage, it's commonly used. Um, you know, to to decrease sweating systemically. So you can incorporate it into your morning routine. Maybe drink a cup of sage tea instead of coffee every morning. And uh, you may notice a significant de decrease in your sweating. Aromatherapy works extremely well. And, um, you know, aromatherapy is actually what led me to discover geranium oil, um, which is an oil you can rub directly on your hands to decrease sweating. It's going to sort of act like a natural deodorant for the day. And you can pick up geranium oil at most health food stores. Uh, some other scents, you know, when, while we're talking about aromatherapy that can work are chamomile, clary sage, geranium, as I said, and rosemary. And the way they'll help you is more for uh, anxiety, excuse me, anxiety induced palm sweating. So they'll decrease the anxiety and just kind of give you a more calm state. Um, and finally, astra astragalus works very, very well. And this is an herb that's been used in China for thousands of years. You can pick it up at most health food stores. It's sold by the vitamin shop, um, and it works super well. You can also pick it up at Amazon. And uh, anytime you take any kind of supplement like this, you always want to talk to your doctor and just make sure it's cool. I believe that this one is not FDA approved, so you definitely want to let, you know, uh, let your physician know about anything you're taking that's not FDA approved. And really, this is just the beginning. You know, I have 12 amazing stop uh, sweating strategies at my site, prevent-sweating.com. 
um, and they're all listed in the free 30-minute video tutorial called Sweat Free Tactics. So check it out right now. It's totally free, and uh, you really you'll experience results within just minutes after trying out some of these techniques in the video. So uh, give it a shot, and I'll see you there. Take care. Bye bye.